ladies and gentlemen, the re-elected president of the United States. <laughs> So, you guys, I, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I try to picture myself uh, when I was your age, and, and I first moved to Chicago uh, at the age of 25, and I had this vague inkling about making a difference. I didn't really know how to do it. Uh, I didn't have a structure, uh, and there, there wasn't uh, a presidential campaign at the time that I could attach myself to. Ronald Reagan had just been reelected uh, and, and was incredibly popular. And um, so I, I, I came to Chicago uh, knowing that somehow uh, I wanted to make sure that my life uh, attached itself to helping kids get a great education or helping people living in, in poverty to get decent jobs and be able to uh, work uh, and, and, and have dignity. Um, to make sure that uh, the people didn't have to go to the emergency room to get health care. And you know, I ended up being a community organizer out on the south side of Chicago. So a, a group of churches were willing to hire me. And I didn't know at all what I was doing. And you know, the, the work that I did in, in those communities changed me much more than I changed the communities. It, it, because it, it taught me uh, the hopes and aspirations and the grit and the resilience of ordinary people. Uh, and it taught me the fact that uh, under the, the surface differences, we all have common hopes and we have, all have common dreams. And it taught me something about how I handled disappointment uh, and what it meant to work hard on a common endeavor. Uh, and I grew up, I became a man during that process. And so when I come here and I look at all of you, uh, what comes to mind is it's not that you guys actually remind me of myself, uh, it's the fact that you are so much better than I was. Um, in so many ways, you're, you're, you're smarter and you're better organized and um, you, uh, you're more effective. And so I'm absolutely confident that all of you are gonna do just amazing things in your lives. And you know, the, uh, what Bobby Kennedy called uh, the, the ripples of hope that come out when you throw a stone uh, in a lake, uh, that's gonna be you. you know, I'm, I'm just looking around the room and I'm thinking, Wherever you guys end up, in whatever states, in, in whatever capacities, whether you're in the private sector or the non-for-profit, or uh, some of you decide to go into public service, uh, you're just going to do great things. And, and that's why, uh, even before last night's results, I felt that the work that I had done um, in running for office had come full circle. Uh, because what you guys uh, have done means that uh, the work that I'm doing is important. And I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud of all of you. And, uh, and, and, and what you just said. accomplished, uh, it will go on in the annals of history and people will read about it and they'll marvel about it, uh, but the most important thing you need to know is that uh, um, your journey is just beginning. You're just starting. And, uh, and, and whatever good we do over the next four years will pale in comparison to uh, what you guys end up accomplishing uh, for years and years to come. And, uh, and that's been my source of hope. That's why I don't over the last four years when people ask me about, uh, about you know how do you put up with this or that and the frustrations of Washington you know, I just think about you I think about what you guys are, are, are going to do and, and that's the source of my hope that's the source of, uh, of my strength and my inspiration and, uh, and I know that uh, uh, I know that you guys uh, won't disappoint me because I've already seen uh, 
you know, who you guys are. And, and, and you all are, are just remarkable people. And you lifted me up uh, each and every step of the way. All right, my all right? Thank you, guys.